You say, hey, Thierry, are you recording, Thierry? Okay, so we have just had our garage sale today, and um, it was a very successful sale, and I have done a video on that because there was a little bit of excitement with the visitor of a snake and all sorts of things, so I will link that one down below. But I just wanted to say it feels so good to get rid of stuff, doesn't it, Cohen? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just like bouncing off the walls. I'm really happy. I feel light and free and, and um, I just want to keep getting rid of more stuff now, but we don't really have much more stuff to get rid of. But in saying this, what I wanted to do is, Jerry's looking at me with a funny face, do you think I'm going to get rid of your stuff, buddy? Well, I'm up to 50. Yeah, up to 50. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it feels great to get rid of stuff. And um, what I wanted to say is, on our holidays, I sneakily filmed some footage at my mother-in-law's of all of her stuff because I was just blown away by how much stuff is just what people have and it's just normal it wasn't like excessive or anything and then I also filmed some not so sneaky because my mum was there and she was in her wardrobe hanging up clothes and I just wanted to to film some of her spaces as well if just for a comparison obviously compared <laughs> I just wanted to compare um, her space to my space and just show the, the, the difference, you know, how, you know, how, how stark it is because, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this not so much stuff, minimalist sort of style that's happening at the moment. So, yeah, and I didn't know how much I enjoyed it until our holidays and I went to these places. So I'll insert a couple of clips and just show you what I mean by normal amounts of stuff. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm feeling really good after getting rid of stuff. So tip for you, get rid of stuff and you feel really good. Okay, buddy. possibly use that many pairs of tongs and that many my spoons tongs. and that many stuff. My tongs are always missing. <laughs> and then over here, yeah, over here in this drawer here. How, how, how many people live in this house? Two. So why is there a need for that many forks? Because that's the, well there's different sizes. There's two sizes. There's the big ones, the six big ones, six little ones. That's a lot of cutlery in that drawer. Same with spoons and knives. Okay, so we're visiting mum for the holidays and I'm, she has the really clean, really super organised house. But she still has so much stuff and I just wanted to show you a few clips of, you know, some examples. This is her wardrobe and she's just obviously done the washing and hanging out some stuff. But yes, so this, this is her clothes. This is one person. This is mum on this side. And this is just the hang up stuff, not the folded up stuff. <laughs> and she thinks it's funny. But I'm just like, oh my God, there is so much stuff. And if you haven't noticed, there's a bit of a, a panda bear collection thing going on at the top. <coughs> and dad over the other side. And you know, like... As far as blokes go, that is a lot of stuff. And it's not like we live somewhere cold, so they've got to have, you know, like winter stuff. This is all just <coughs> hot, summery <coughs> stuff. So, yep. Okay, and that's a little ensuite here, but I just wanted to show you in the bathroom more stuff. And yes, it's neat and clean and organised, but it's just stuff, stuff everywhere, you know? Stuff, 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 stuff. 
again more stuff and I'm just sort of wondering is it me am I the only person that don't just like can't handle stuff because yeah there's stuff 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 everywhere Here at stuff again. This is my mother in law's house, and I just am gobsmacked by the amount of stuff people have. So, here we got the china cabinet. Now, one could possibly not use all that china. It's beautiful, yes, but stuff. Everybody's got stuff.